ulit sa ating lahat. Uh, welcome again to Advanced Database Management. Uh, again, the, the course code is ITEP204. Ang topic natin ngayon ay the relational data model and database constraint. And again, uh, this is Florence Ryan Sotelo, your part-time instructor. Our main text, again, is uh, Fundamentals of Database Systems, 6th edition, by L. Marcy, L. Masri, and Nav Navathe. And this is ano, uh, chapter 3 of module 1, uh, covering the pages 59 to 79. Again, yung title is The Relational Data Model and relational database constraints. So yung chapter outline, we will be covering relational model concepts, uh, relational model constraints, and relational database schemas, update operations, and dealing with constraint violations. So before proceeding, uh, i-review muna natin yung uh, tinatawag na ano, no? uh, set theory symbols kasi we will be using this for the... Ano, uh, database algebra. So, yung unang symbol, open and close curly braces. Uh, this symbol is uh, the set symbol. So, this is a collection of elements, not necessarily ordered. So, may dalawang examples ng sets dito, no? set A and set B. Set A is consisting of the elements 3, 7, 9, and 14, while B has 9, 14, and 28 as elements. And so, next, uh, the symbols element of and not element of. So, ito ay set membership. So, kung sila ay member ng uh, isang set. Uh, X is, eh, meron tayong algebra, uh, algebraic equation dito. X is equal to 3 is an element of A. So, X is equal to 28 is not an element of A. Yeah. So, yun, set membership. So, yung kabi, uh, susunod na symbol naman is yung reversed na letter, capital letter E. Uh, ang ibig sabihin nun is there exists. So, pag nakita nyo yung symbol na yun, uh, ayun, magsasabihin nyo lang, there exists. So, ito yung equation. If x is an element of, yung n na ganyan, ano? Uh, ano to? Natural numbers, ang ibig sabihin. So, if x is an element of all natural numbers, then there exists a number x is greater than 0. Ayan. So, natural numbers, ito yung counting numbers, ano? whole numbers na nakakount. So, since 0 is hindi naman bilang ang 0, hindi nabibilang, uh, so, nagsisimula tayo sa 1 and pataas. Ayan. Then, uh, yung susunod na symbol is yung bar na symbol. It means such that. So, it means that uh, further define the characteristics of an object. So, for example, uh, Set A is equal to uh, the set of all X such that X is an element of all real numbers uh, and X is greater than or equal to 0. Ayan, so real number yung R na yun. Okay, next is uh, intersection naman. Ito yung nakabaligtad na U. So it means that the objects that belong to two or more sets. So, for example, itong statement na, algebraic statement na A intersection B. So, ang given the example dun sa taas, uh, set, set A consists of the elements 3, 7, 9, and 14. And set B are the elements 9, 14, and 28. So, ano yung meron si A na meron din si B? So, makikita natin yun ay yung elements na 9 and 14. So, yun yung sagot dun sa uh, dun sa intersection. Yung yun yun naman is yung uh, capital letter U. Uh, these are the objects that belong to one or more sets. Yan. So, kung ano man ang makikita mo sa set A, 
isasama mo yon sa nasa set B. Pero hindi kailangang i-repeat. Halimbawa yung, so yung sa set A is 3, 7, 9, and 14. So since may 9 and 14 na, pag sinama natin yung set B, yung 28 na lang yung kulang. So yun yung uh, A union B. Yeah, next symbol is the strict subset. So, one subset has fewer elements than the other. So, pag sinabing A uh, subset of, uh, strict subset of B, so, ano yung elements ni B na makikita mo rin kay A? So, yun yung uh, 9 and 14. Ayan. Okay. So, yung susunod is yung uh, symbol na subset. So, ang difference ni strict subset sa subset is that uh, ang sa subset, pwedeng maging equal ng elements. Ayun. So, titingnan mo pati kung ano, no? Uh, saan naka-open yung opening ng symbol. Ayan. So, kung saan naka-open yung, yung opening ng symbol, yun yung ano. Uh, susund susundan natin. So, A, uh, dapat ito merong pinagsimulan na ano eh, na algebraic statement. So, A subset B, so, ang susundan natin na, na set is yung set B, which is, has an element ng 914 and 28. So, ano yung meron si, si uh, set A na meron si set B. So, yun yung 9 and 14. Pero para mag-equal, dadagdagan mo ng 28. Ayan. So, pag may 28 na, ayan. So, uh, A subset B ay 9, 14, and 28. Ito naman, uh, strict superset. Uh, It means that one subset has more elements than the other. A superset B. So, 914 and 28. The set of 914 and 28 has ano, uh, more elements than the sets 9 and 14. Uh, yung susunod naman is superset. One superset has more or equal elements than the other. So, 914 and 28 is the superset of 914 and 28. And then, uh, yung set na walang laman, ang tawag natin doon is empty set. May set pa rin siya, pero walang uh, laman. Okay? So, I think ang tawag natin dito is null. Yan. So, set pa rin siya, pero wala siyang laman, which is different from zero. So, empty set. Okay, continuing on sa next slide. Relational model concepts. The relational model of data is based on the concept of relations. A relation, ito, tanda natin itong definition. Ano? A relation is a math mathematical concept based on the ideas of sets. Ayan, kaya pinag-aralan natin yung set theory, ano? The strength of the relational approach to data management comes from the formal foundation provided by the uh, theory of relations. We review the essentials of the relational approach in this chapter. Next slide. Uh, relational model concepts. The model was first proposed by Dr. E. F. Codd of IBM in the 1970s uh, in the following paper. A re relational model for large shared data banks. Communications of the ACM, June 1970. So, the above paper caused a major revolution in the field of database management and earned Ted Cudd the uh, coveted ACM Turing Award. So, isa yung ACM Turing Award sa ano, no? uh, mga awards sa computer science. So, kung kilala natin si yung scientist na si Turing, uh, isa siya sa mga ano, inventors ng computer. Okay. Uh, informal definitions, relation. Uh, parang sinasabi natin, yung relation, uh, ang definition nito is a table of values lang. 
So, a relation is equal to or the same lang nung pag sinabi natin a table of values. Hindi lang basta a table, ano? Yung table na uh, yung gina, ginagawa natin sa Excel, ano? Kailangan may values yung table na yun. Ayan. So, a relation may be thought of as a set of rows. A, re- a relation may alternatively be thought of as a set of columns. Ayan. Each row represents a fact that corresponds to a real-world entity or relationship. So, yung mga data kasi natin, uh, a data is a fact. Ayan. So, yung mga de- data kasi natin ay nakalagay sa mga rows. And each row has a value of an item or a set of items that uni- uniquely identifies that row in the table. Ayan. And sometimes, row IDs or sequential numbers are assigned to identify the rows in the table. So, pag gumagawa tayo ng tables, ano, uh, normally nilalagay natin ng table number para ma-identify natin yung uh, row number ng, ano, ng elements na gusto nating uh, i-cite or um, i-discuss, for example. Each column typically is called by its column name or column header or at- attribute name. So, lahat ng mga naandito, no? ito yung informal definitions regarding a table of values or in other words, a relation. So, ito naman yung formal definition or mathematical definition. A relation may be defined in multiple ways. The schema of a relation, R, uh, is a set of the following elements, A1, A2, and up to AN. So, where, ayun, a relation schema R is defined over attributes A, A1, A2, A, up to AN. So, yung A1 is attribute number 1, A2 is attribute number 2, and yung AN is yung pinakalast na attribute. For example, a relation customer Ayan. has the, the schema cost ID, cost name, address, and phone number. Ayan. So, itong buong statement that na ito, no? customer, tapos may open and close parenthesis, cost ID, cost name, cost address, and phone number na yung nasa loob na elements are ano, uh, separated by comma. Uh, yung buong yan, ang tawag dyan ay schema of the relation customer. Uh, here, customer is a relation defined over the four attributes, cost ID, cost name, address, and phone number, each of which has a domain or a set of valid values. Later, define natin yung domain. For example, the domain of cost ID is six-digit numbers. Okay, so basically, domain kasi is ano, no? Uh, a description or a rule that will describe a value that is valid under a an attribute or a domain. So basically, yung domain is siya yung nagde-define ng mga values na dapat ilalagay mo sa isang attribute. Sa ilalim ng isang attribute. Okay, so uh, etong figure 3.5 these are the schema diagram for the company relation. So, so these are different relations under a company. So, for example, the relation employee, uh, ang schema niya includes F name, min, M init, L name, SSN, B date, address sex, salary, super SSN, and Dino. Uh, department relation naman ay di- composed of the following attributes, the name, the number, M- MGR SSN, MGR start date, then yung department location, project, works on, at saka dependent. So, yan yung mga relations natin under the uh, company database, Ayan. company relational database schema. Formal definition. So, meron tayong term na tinatawag ay tuple. A tuple is an ordered set of values. So, kailangan naka-order. 
each value is derived from an appropriate domain. Uh, each row in the customer table may be referred to as a tuple in, in the table and would consist of four values. Uh, yung 632895, Judge Smith, 101 Main Street, Atlanta, uh, GA, uh, 30332, and uh, open and close parenthesis, 404-894-2000. So this is a tuple belonging to to the customer relation or in other words for info ang formal definition is customer relation ang informal informal term dyan is customer table Again. so a relation may be regarded as a set of tuples or a set of rows so that is a relation ano? pagka yung tuples na magkakapareho ng uh, Attributes, pinagsama-sama mo, ang tawag na doon ay relations. So, columns in a table are also called attributes of the relation. So, tinan natin tong diagram, figure 3.1. So, yung buong table na yan is called a relation. And then, yung relation, dapat merong relation name. Uh, in this case, it is student. Student ang tawag ang relation name. Then, yung attributes are name, SSN, home phone, address, office phone, age, and GPA. Uh, yung mga values sa isang, actually, uh, row ang tawag, ang alam natin dito, ano? ang row is, at uh, ang tawag dyan is tuples. Ayan. So, magkakasamang values, values for each attribute relating to uh, one another. So, isang tuple yung Benjamin Bayer, yung SSN niya, phone number, address, office phone. So, null yung, wala siyang office phone. Then, HNGPA. Then, ayun, meron tayong ilang tuples. Lima na tuples. Yung attributes sa tawag din natin is columns. Ano? But in this case, dahil formal yung definition, dapat ang tawag natin formally attributes. Informal column. Formal tuples, pero ang informal na tawag doon, rows. Ayan. Formal definitions. A domain has a logical definition. Ayan. Anong pagkakaiba ng attribute sa domain? A domain has a logical definition. Ayan. Tandaan natin yan, ano? So, pag sinabi natin uh, the domain of attribute USA phone numbers, so, to say it is a domain, hindi describe natin ano ba yung values na, na dapat nasa USA phone numbers. So, these are a set of 10-digit phone numbers valid in the US. Another definition sa domain na yun is, a domain may have a data type or a format defined for it. The USA phone numbers may have a format DDD, uh, open close parenthesis, dash DDD, dash DDDD. Yan where each D is a decimal digit. Example, dates uh, have various formats such as month name, date year, or YYYY-MM-DD or uh, DD, uh, DD uh, space MM, comma, YYYY, etc. Yeah. An attribute uh, designates the role played by the domain. Okay, so kung yung domain ay... Uh, for example, domain date may be used for defined, uh, to define attributes in voice date and payment date. So, yung domain is the definition or the rule na ilalagay uh, rule kung paano ma-qualify maging valid ang isang uh, data under an attribute. Yung attribute naman, ito yung rule uh, para saan yung domain na yun. And nga, example dito, yung date. Uh, ang pag sinabi nating date, uh, date na domain, may definition yan. So, definition, uh, it's, it's a set of numbers. Pwede ganon. Pwede rin namang set of uh, alphabetic characters and numbers. Tapos may format. So, yun yung domain. Pero para saan yung, ano, yung domain na yun, invoice date or payment date. So, yun yung rules naman. Invoice yung invoice date is the role, payment date is, is the role. 
uh, uh, it describes the date when the uh, transaction was paid. Yung invoice naman is the date wherein kailan nagawa yung invoice. So, pareho silang date, pero magkaiba silang ng role. So, yung role, ang tawag doon, attribute. Ayan. Okay. Uh, continuing yung formal definitions natin. Uh, the relation is formed over the Cartesian product of sets. So, Cartesian product is, I don't know, define natin later. Uh, each set has values from a domain. That domain is used in a specific role, which is conveyed by the attribute name. So, yun nga. So, yung domain is uh, to de describe ng set of values, while the attribute name, ito yung role na piniplay ng domain na yun. Okay? For, ex uh, for example, attribute cost name is defined over domain of strings of 25 characters. The role these strings play in the customer relation is that of the name of the customer. Ayan. So, yung, at, yung domain is a string of 25 characters. Ang attribute is customers. Customer's name. Ayan. So, formally, given uh, a relation R with uh, attributes A1 to uh, A1, A2, up to AN, then the R of R, the small R of R, is a subset, uh, a strict subset of DOM A, Cartesian product, uh, the Cartesian products of DOM A1, DOM A2, up to DOM AN. Ayan. Where uh, R is the schema of the relation, R of R, a specific value or population of R, and capital R is also called intention of a relation, and small r is called the extension of the relation. So, R is the intention or the purpose. Yung R naman na small, R extension. So, ito yung mga values na naandun sa relation. Uh, relation mo na uh, capital R. Ayan. So, formal definition. So, let, so, let S1 be a set with elements 0 and 1. Let S2 be a set with elements A, B, and C. So, let R be a subset of the Cartesian product of set uh, S1 and S2. Then the state R of R or state small r of big R or the relation big R are the Cartesian products A, C, uh, 0A, 0B, uh, 1C. And so, then for example, uh, the R of R, ayun nga, uh, 0A, 0B, 0, uh, 1C is one possible state or population or extension of the relation R defined over domains S1 and S2. It has three tuples. Yeah, so, pag kinuha mo daw yung, ano, yung state. Actually, yung state is, ano, no? Uh, entity instance. So, isang instance nung pwedeng maging row nung ating relationship R is yun nga, 0A, 0B, at saka 1C. Uh, then, magkakaroon ka ng susunod na uh, instance or state or population extension. Ayan. Uh, ano naman siya? 1A, 1B, 0C. Yeah, pwede yun. And may pangatlo. So, ilan yung possible na ano na state or population? Tatlo. Kaya merong tatlong tuples. Yan. So, definition summary. Formal term, relation. Ang informal term niya is table. Pag sinabi natin attribute or domain, yun lang yung column. Pag sinabing tuple, yun pala yung row. Pag sinabing domain, eto yung values uh, definition ng values na nasa isang nasa ilalim ng isang column papano ifo form or magiging valid yung isang value under that 
uh, column. Then pag sinabi nating schema of a relation, ito lang pala yung definition ng table na yun. Ano yung, para sa yung table na yun. Yung extension, ito naman ay yung populated table or yung, yung table, nilagyan mo na, pinuno mo ng values. Pag napuno mo ng values, ayun, yun ang tawag dun sa mga values na inilagay mo, extension. Yan. Okay? Next, formal definitions. Okay, na-discuss na natin kanina, no? Uh, bakit ito yung inilagay ko ulit? Tingnan natin. So, characteristics of relations. Ordering of tuples in a relation, uh, R of R. Tuples are not considered to be ordered, even though they appear to be in a tabular form. So, hindi kailangang magkakasunod talaga yung tuples. Ano? Then, ordering of attributes in a relation schema R and of values within uh, each tuple, we will consider the attributes in uh, R, A1, A2, up to AN. The values uh, in T is equal, uh, equal to or greater than V1, V2, uh, up to VN to be ordered. However, a more general alternative definition of the relation does not require this ordering. Values in a tuple, all values are considered atomic or indivisible. Uh, a special null value is used to represent values that are unknown or inapplicable to a certain tuple. So, ayun, kailan lang gagamitin yung null pagka ang values are unknown and inapplicable. Ayan. Okay, notation, we refer to component values of a tuple, T by T, A sub I is equal to V sub I. The values of attribute A sub I for tuple T. Similarly, uh, T A sub U, A sub V, up to A sub W, refers to the subset tuple of T, containing the values, values of attributes A sub U, sub A sub V, until A sub W respectively. And characteristics of uh, relations. And yun yung T is the tuple. Ano? Two identical tuples where when the order of attributes and values is not part of the relation definition. So kung hindi daw naka-ordered yung, yung tuples natin, itong dalawang T na to, Sayang, nilagyan sana nilang T sub 1, T sub 2, ano? Yung T sub 1 at saka T sub 2 are equal. Uh, makita nyo parang magkaiba siya, no? Pero pansinin ninyo, uh, yung name is Dick Davidson. Yung pangalawang T, name is Dick Davidson pa rin. Pareho ng address, pareho ng SSN, pareho ng age, uh, office phone number, GPA, at home phone. So, equal siya. Although, pinag, ano, uh, palit-palit lang ng position yung kanyang attributes. Okay? So, uh, relational integrity constraints. Uh, constraints are conditions. And ulit, constraints are conditions that must hold on on all valid relation instances. There are three main types of con constraints. Okay? Key constraints, entity integrity constraints, and referential integrity constraints. So, dun muna tayo sa key constraints. Super key of R. So, a super key of R is a set of attributes SK of R, or SK meaning super key, such that no two, two tuples in any valid relation instant, instance R of R will have the same value of SK or super key. That is, for any distinct tuples, uh, T1 and T2 in R of R, uh, T1, the super key of T1 is not equal to the super key of uh, T2 or tuple number 2. The key of R, a minimal super key, that is a super key K, such that removal of any attribute from K results in a set of attributes that is not a super key. So, 
difference na super key at saka key a super key is a combination of other keys yung key is just the key Ayan. so for example tingnan natin yung example dito the car relation schema uh, the relation car has the following attributes state registration number serial number make model and year uh, this relation has two keys key one which is uh, state and registration number and key two uh, serial number which are also super keys serial number and make it's a super key but not a key and okay if a relation has several candidate keys one is cho chosen arbitrarily to be the primary key the primary key attributes are underlined so yung primary key ay ano no so in this case dalawa state at saka registration number uh, pareho si dalawa sila so ibig sabihin uh, super key yung dalawang yun pinagsama and pareho silang yung pinagsamang yun are primary key so ayun naka-underline pareho siya so even though yung ibang mga uh, attributes can also be considered keys pero hindi naman sila primary key kaya wala silang underline okay so this is the example ng uh, extension or extended na relation car ayun may values na sa ilalim and so yung super key na license number ay made up of state at saka uh, sir, uh, registration number Ayan. okay next uh, entity uh, entity integrity relational database schema as uh, a set S of relation schemas that belong to the same database. S is the name of the database. So, the relation S is equal to the set of relations 1, 2, up to relation N, Rn. Ent uh, entity integrity, the primary key attributes or, or PK of each relation schema R in uh, S cannot have cannot have null values in any uh, tuple of R of R. This is because primary key values are used to identify the indiv individual tuple. So, ibig sabihin, pag nag-assign ka ng isang attribute inside the tuple na bilang primary key, bawal uh, maging null value yung ano, yung dun sa magkaroon ng null value dun sa attribute na yon kasi ma-violate niya yung entity integrity note uh, other attributes of R may be similarly constrained to disallow null values even though they are not mem members of the primary key Ayan. again to enforce yung entity integrity bawal magkaroon ng null value ang primary key Ayan. So, given ulit dito, relational database schema na uh, figure 3.5. Uh, this the, the relational database schema ng company, uh, which are employ, uh, relations employee, department, department locations, project, works on, and dependent. Referential integrity naman. Uh, this is a constraint involving two relations. So, the previous constraints involve a single relation used to specify a relationship among tuples into relations. Uh, the referencing relation and the reference relations. Tuples in the referencing relation R sub 1 have attributes FK called foreign key. And foreign key attributes that reference the primary key attributes PK of the referenced relation R sub 2. A tuple T sub 1 in R sub 1 is said to reference a tuple T sub 2 in R sub 2 if T sub 1 ha has a foreign key that is equal to the primary key of T sub 2. Uh, 
A referential integrity constraint can be displayed in a relational database schema as a directed arc from uh, relationship R1.fk to uh, R2. sub So, statement of the constraint. The value in the foreign key column or columns, fk, of the referencing relation uh, r sub 1 can be either 1, a value of an existing primary key, value of the corresponding primary key, pk, in the reference relation r2, or a null. In case 2, the foreign key in r1 should not be a part of its own primary key. So, pagka nagkakaroon ng null value yung foreign key, dapat hindi siya primary key nung relationship na yun. Ano? So, other types of constraints. Uh, semantic integrity constraints. This is based on application semantics and cannot be expressed by the model per se. Example, the ma maximum number of hours per employee for all projects he or she works on is uh, 56 hours per week. So, a constraint specification language may have to be used to express this. So, in SQL 99, it's a type, another type of, of SQL, allows triggers and uh, assertions to allow for some of, uh, for some of this. So, ito, mapag-usapan na dun sa, ano, uh, triggers ano meron kasing mga uh, relational database management systems na merong mga triggers na tinatawag so isa na doon yung S uh, database management system na ang tawag ay SQL 99 okay so schema diagram for the company relational database schema ayan ulit so pinakita lang to tapos ito yung possible na state or extension ayun nilagyan ng mga values yung ano no yung schema ayan so this is uh, a possible state meaning ano parang yung database mo which has six uh, relations or tables kinuhanan mo ng picture kasi di ba constantly nagbabago bag nagbabago-bago ang mga laman niyan. So, for example, ito yung ano, uh, ito yung laman at a time. At one time. Ayan. So, pinakita yung dalawang mga images for this ano, figure, ano, figure 3.7. Ito na ngayon yung nagpapakita ng referential integrity constraint ng uh, relational database schema company. So, SSN, which is a primary key, uh, ay pwedeng, ano siya, no? Uh, reference ng another employee through the su super or supervisor uh, social security number. Yung D, no? Is a foreign key ng department D number. Yung D number ng department location is uh, another actually a super key na combination ng D number at saka D location yung D number is a foreign key of D uh, na nagre-relate sa department D number Ayan, yung foreign key ng project na D num is, uh, ay nagre-reference sa primary key ng department D number yung works on uh, PINO uh, foreign key yung PINO ang primary key is P number tapos uh, yung ESSN or employee uh, social security number ay nagperform ng super key kasama yung P number sa works on ano? and nagre-reference naman itong ESSN papunta sa employee SSN ayun dun sa taas na ano no na relation yung dependent ang primary key niya ay ESSN at saka dependent name so super key yung primary key niya pero yung ESSN lang ay foreign key referencing the 
SSN nung employee relation. Okay, so update operations on relations. Uh, meron tayong three possible na operations. Insert, inserting a tuple or inserting a row. Deleting a tuple or deleting a row. Modifying a tuple or modifying a row. Tuple means row. Ano? Integrity constraints should not be violated. Ito yung rules by the update operation. Several update operations may have to be grouped together. Updates may propagate to cause other updates automatically. This may be necessarily necessary to maintain integrity constraints. In case of integrity violation, several actions can be taken. So cancel the operation that causes violation. So yung yung activity mo or uh, yung pinakapag-cancel mo ng operation, ang tawag doon is reject option. I-reject mo yung update operation kasi nga nagko-cause ng uh, violation integrity violation yung update operation mo. So i-reject na lang. Perform the operation but inform the user of the violation. Ayan. Pwedeng i-perform pero maglalabas ka ng message ano, sa user na kung ano man yung message na kailangan. And then, third action na pwede nating gawin in case of integrity violation is trigger additional update so the violation is corrected. So, ang tawag dito ay cascade option. So, yung operation mo, no? yung update operation mo, ay magkakaroon ng uh, integrity violation. So, i-cascade mo na lang. So, meaning, iti-trigger yung additional updates para, kumbaga, internally, i-correct yung violation. Or, eto, may pangalawang option, i-set mo na lang ng null yung uh, update. Or, ang pang-apat na uh, option is to execute a user-specified error correction routine. Ayan. So, magawa ka na, i-program mo na lang kung anong kailangan gawin pagka naka-encounter ng integrity violation. Next. Ayan. So, ano no? May assignment kayo dito. Chapter 3, activity number 2. Ang activity number 1 was your ano no? reading assignment. Ito naman yung video presentation which is uh, submittable sa ano, May 4 pa naman. So, create a group of three members and select a group leader. So, merong, ano, no? Uh, may pagagawang update operation sa inyo. Pero ang reference natin ay yung uh, schema diagram illustrated in figure 3.5. Uh, then figure 3.6 at saka 3.7 ayun yung tatlong magkakasunod na diagrams na pinakita natin sa kanina no then ayun di ba meron kayong three members so yung isang member ay i-assign niyo sa section 3 uh, 3.3.1 insert operation tingnan niyo yung main textbook natin ano hanapin niyo yung 3.3.1 uh, section 3.3.2 at saka 3.3.3 ayan so bawat isang member sa group nyo ay isang operation and then may naka-describe na if, uh, action at saka results dyan ano? so gawa kayo ng video i-discuss nyo ano yung effects nung ano uh, effects nung mga operations na yun at saka yung uh, pag ano niya, paglabag sa integrity constraints. And gamitin nyo yung, ano, no, yung figure 3.5, figure 3.6, 3.7 to illustrate yung point na dinidiscuss ninyo. Ayan. Then, after uh, magawa ng bawat isang member yung kanilang uh, mga videos, isasubmit yun sa leader and the group leader will consolidate all the videos and gagawa ng intro at saka outro for the whole video. Then, i-upload nyo ito sa ano, no? isang free video sharing na online site. Uh, for example, YouTube. And then, uh, pagka-upload nyo doon, i-copy nyo yung, ano, no? yung uh, link. And then, bawat isa doon sa mga member, 
yung link na yun, yung i-submit sa assignment natin. Okay, so pag merong hindi naintindihan, ano? Uh, don't hesitate to send me a message. Di ba, uh, per class naman tayo ay merong uh, chat. Uh, better na, ano? Mag, mag, wag kayong individual mag-chat directly. Uh, i-share natin dun sa mga classmates nyo para kumbaga iisang tanong. Minsan kasi may nagtatanong mga limang sunod-sunod pare-pareho namang magkakaseksyon eh isa lang naman yung tanong eh sasagutin ko pa ba isa-isa pare-pareho naman ng tanong. So magandang doon na lang sa ano class chat group na lang natin gawin para nasi-share yung answer ko sa lahat. Ayan. Wag wag ano, wag tayong mahiya kasi ganun talaga yun, nag-aaral tayo. So we clarify things. And even sa pag nagtatrabaho na kayo, dapat wag kayong mahiya talaga magtanong kasi talo ang hindi nagtatanong. Ayan. So wag wag kayong ano. Sabi nga ni Susan Roses, ano, wag mahiyang magtanong, ano. So magtanong kayo. Okay, with that, uh hopefully wala kayong magiging problem dito sa ano, activity natin. And with that, uh, thank you uh, for listening again and please look forward to the next uh, module. Okay, bye-bye.